Many reasons to choose Educatomy GAT self-study course. Number one, you can learn from pre-recorded earning materials in your own time. Second reason that you can study at your own pace anytime from anywhere. Third reasons timed exam same as the real GAT computer test. Fourth reason homeworks form with scores per each lesson. Fifth reason more than 1000 Tajmat questions. Sixth is you have self-reflections and you can check your knowledge by graded exams. Finally allow you to access learning materials for 45 days. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Question number one. Negative 5 to the power of 5 and negative 5 to the power of 7. We know that when the power is odd, it keeps the negative value. If the power is odd, it keeps the negative value. So this one will be negative and this one also will be negative. But notice that if you are comparing between negative 2 and negative 5, negative 2 is bigger. So once you go with this number, this number I know at a positive value is smaller than negative 5 or 7. So this number is the bigger. Why? Because once, once the, the, the number is negative, we are taking the small one. Regarding the second question, I know that the power here is even, but the power here is odd. And if I have a negative number and the power is even, so the answer should be positive. But in this case, negative and the power of odd, the answer is negative. So of course, the positive value is greater than a negative value. Regarding the third question, I have root 5 plus root 3 and root 5 plus 3. I know that root 5 plus 3 is equal to root 8. And root 8 approximately 2.8. Why? Because root 9 is equal to 3. And root 8 doesn't exceed the root of 9. Root 5, if I draw a number line, and this number line here is 2, and 2 is the root of 4, and 3, which is the root of 9, root 5 somewhere is here. So we can say that it's approximately 2.2. Where is root 3? Root 3 between root 1 and root 4. So root 3 approximately here. Root 3 is approximately 1.7, 1.8, something like this. So when I add these two numbers, it gives me 3 point something. So it's always greater than 3. So the right answer is A. Regarding question number 4, I have root 3 plus 5 and root 5 plus 2. A few minutes ago, we said that root 5 approximately is 2.2. So when I'm adding 2.2 plus 2, this answer on the right is about 4.2. But the answer on the left, I have 5 and already 5 greater than 4. So the value of A is the greatest, and your choices in this case will be A. Regarding question number five, I have root of 0.9 and root of uh, and 0.4. If I wanted to solve and I have one of the terms have a root and the other doesn't have a root, I have one of two solutions. Here I'm going to solve the first solution, and here I'm going to solve the second solution. The first solution is by squaring the two terms by squaring the two terms. So I'm going to say root 0.09 to the power of 2, I give me 0.09 because the square is cancel the root. And the right term 0.4 to the power of 2, which is 0.4 times 0.4 after one decimal, after one decimal, so after two decimals, so it's 0.16. And of course, we know that 0.16 is greater than 0.09. Second solution is by taking the root of 0.09. And the root of 0.09 is 9 over 100. And the root of 9 is 3. The root of 100 is 10. So this one is 0.3. So if I compare between 0.3 and 0.4, 0.4 is the big. Regarding question number 6. 55 to the power of 11 and 3 power 11 plus 2 power 11. Of course, 55 is the greatest because it's 55. But what if it was 5 to the power of 11 
and 2 power 11 plus 3 power 11. It's the same. And that's why, because 5 power 2 and 3 power 2 plus 2 power 2. Here is 9 plus 4, which is equal to 13. And 5 power 2 is? So, it's a general rule. It's a general rule that once you have a number to the power of 2, for example, a plus b to the power of n, is always greater than a to the power of n plus b to the power of n, whereas a and b are integer, positive integers. a and b are positive whole number. So whatever you are split the number, it will still the greatest is the biggest value. Regarding question number seven, we have two methods. The first method that four, two, three, nine, over nine, and 400, I will write a denominator one. To compare between these two fractions, I'm going to multiply this by that, give me 3,600. And multiply one by that, give me 4,239. Of course, 4,239 is the greatest. This is the first method. Second method, that if I consider that this 9 is 10. So 4,239 divided by 10 is 423.9. And absolutely, 423.9 is greater than 400. Regarding question number 8, I have 20 by 32 by 6 by 4, and I have to write 4 to the power of 7. First, I'm going to write 4 to the power of 7 as 4 by 4 by 4 7 times. And I'm going to expand 20 as a prime factor, 4 by 5, and 32, 4 by 8, and 6, 2 by 3, and 4. Then I'm going to cancel 1, 2, 3, with 1, 2, 3. And 2 by 8 is 16, as 4 by 4 is 16. So I have to the right 4 by 4, which is equal to 16, and I have to the left 3 by 5, which is equal to 15. And 16 is greater than 15. Yeah. <clears throat> Regarding question number 9. 3 to the power of 8 over 9 and 81. First, I know that 9 can be written as 3 to the power of 2. So 3 to the power of 2 divided 3 power 9 is 3 to the power of 6. And 81 is 3 to the power of 4. So, of course, the value of A is the greatest value. Regarding question number 10, 150 times 100 or 120 times 120. If I cancel two zero from the left side and two zeros from the right side, I will have to the right 12 by 12 and to the left 150. And as we all know that 12 by 12 is 144, so 150 is the greatest. So, regarding question number 11, root 14 plus 3 or root 35 plus 2? We all know that root 14 is approximately 3.7, 3.6 plus 3, so the right hand, the left hand side could be 6 point something. But root 35 approximately is equal to 6. Why? Because root 36 is equal to 6. 6 plus 2, so this value to the left is to the right is equal to 8. So of course the right hand side is the greatest. Let's go to question number 12. Is it 200 is greatest or 39,999? One of the answers that I can use is to square both sides. So I'm going to square this, I'm going to square that. When I square 200, the answer is 40,000. And when I square 39,999, I'm going to cancel the square with the root, so it's 39,999. Of course, the first value is the greatest. Question number 13. Regarding question number 13, I have to the left 4 and I have to the right negative 0.25 to the power of negative 2. Don't rush your work and write that the answer is the right one because the power is negative. No. 
if you re rewrite this one as negative 1 over 4 to the power of negative 2. First, how I can remove this negative by flipping the fraction. And then I'm going to cancel the negative because the power is even. So 4 power 2 is equal to 16. And the left hand side is equal to 4. So of course, the value of B is the greatest. Regarding question number 14, I have in column A 0.025 below the root and I have 0.05. To solve this question, I prefer if you can square the left and square the right. When I square this one, the answer is 0.025. And when I'm squaring the right, it's 0.05 times 0.05. The decimal places here is two places and the decimal here is two places. So the answer is after four places. So the answer is 0.025. So, of course, the first answer is that greatest. Regarding question number 15, 3 minus third and half plus third. Of course, 3 minus third is the greatest directly. Why is that, Mr. Hisham? Because when I'm going to subtract a whole number out of a fraction out of a whole number, the answer is going to be 2 and 2 over 3. But half plus third, if you draw a circle, half plus third, it will not be one. So of course, a whole number is greater than one. If you wanted to follow the fractions rule, you will figure out that this one is two and two over three, and the one to the left, half plus third, you multiply the denominator, and you add three plus two in the numerator, so it's five over six. So it's two and two over three. Regarding question number 16, 36 times 50 plus 24 times 50 and 50 to the power of 2. We all know that 50 to the power of 2 is 50 times 50. And here, 50 multiplied by 36 and 50 multiplied by 24. I will take 50 as a highest common factor. So I have 36 plus 24. And 36 plus 24 is 60. So of course, the right hand side is the greatest. If you wanted to solve it by another method, 50 by 36, you are going to put down the zero and it's gonna be 1,800. Plus 50 by 24, I'm going to put down the zero and five multiplied by 24 is equal to 1,200. So 120. So the sum here is 30,000. No, it's 3,000. And the product here is 2,500. So, of course, 3,000 is greater than 2,500. Regarding question number 17. <laughs> Regarding question number 17, as we can see to the left-hand side, I have 3 multiply 4 over 7. And I can expand the bracket. So, multiply 4 over 3, multiply by 3. Multiply 7 over 4, multiply by 5. By cancel the 3, by cancel the 7, by cancel the 4, I have 5 times 4 times 3, which is 3 by 20, which is equal to 60. And the right hand side is 65, so 65 is the greatest. Let's go to question number 18. Negative 3 over 4 to the power of 11, and negative 3 over 4. Regarding question number 18, and once I'm looking at the question, of course, I'm going to say that the answer of B is the greatest. Why? The power here is even, but the power here is odd. And odd keeps the negative. Odd loves negative. So it will keep it. But negative here will be destroyed. So, of course, any positive number is greater than any negative number. Question number 19, 600, or sum of the interior angle of the pentagon. Sum of the interior angle of the pentagon is 540. So, of course, 600 is the greatest. Regarding question number 20. I'm going to compare between 4 and negative x plus 1, all to the power of 2. Notice that while you are writing this one, I prefer if you can write the bracket. So, negative of negative 1 plus 1 all to the power of 2. Negative multiplied by negative is positive. So 1 plus 1 all to the power of 2, which is equal to 2 to the power of 2. So both of them 
are equal. Both of them are equal. Regarding question number 21. Root of 2 power 116 minus 2 to the power of 110 or 60. For the first while, you may think that this is root, but this is 60. And the first common mistake that most of the students doing it, that they are saying that it's 2 power 5. Why? Uh, sorry, 2 power 6. Why? Because this is 116 and this 110. No, this is absolutely wrong. Why? Because I can't subtract the power if the sign between them is negative. What I'm going to do? I'm going to take 210 as a highest common factor. So the remainder, 2 power 6 minus 1. So it's root 2 power 110 multiplied by 31. And of course, 2 power 110 is about 2 power 55 and something. So of course, the first answer is much, much, much greater than the second answer. Regarding question number 22. 10.5 or 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.5. We have many, many questions, many methods to solve this one. I will do my best to explain for you one or two. First method, the left hand side is 10.5. For the right hand side, 0 0.05 divided 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 divided 0.05. I'm going to multiply here by 100, and here by 100, here by 100, and there by 100. Why 100, Mr. Hishab? Because I have two decimal places here. So this one is 5 over 50, plus 50 over 5. 50 over 5 is 10, and 5 over 50 is 1 over 10, so the answer is 10.1. So since the answer is 10.1, of course, the left hand side is the greatest. Second solution, or a second method to solve this one, that you can multiply the denominator 0.5 times 0.05, this gives you 0.025. And then 0.05 times 0.005 give you 0.0025, plus 0.5 times 0.25 is 0.25. By adding them, you will find that it's a 25 point Sorry, it's, it's, you will find them, it's 0 0.2525 over 0 0.025 leads to 10.1. And I think this one a little bit difficult. I don't, and I don't recommend that you can solve with this method yet. Regarding question number 23, of course, I know that root of 9 is equal to 3. So 4 plus 3, so this is root of 7. And root of 16 is 4, so 2 plus 4, so this is root of 6. Of course, root of 7 is greater than root of 6. Question number 24. 0 0.32 or 310? Of course, 0 0.32. Why? Because I can rewrite it as 0 0.320. Last question for this video is question number 25. 3 or root 4 plus root 5? Root 5 approximately 2.2, uh, 2.3. Let's write it as 2.3. So the left, the right hand side is approximately 6.3. And 3 is root of 9. So of course, root of 9 is the greatest. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was worthy and valuable for you. Barakallahu